what I'm passionate about. And I think I can be there for people when they need me. I believe that's my purpose in life. We are privileged to be serving our community and the community has trusted us with the powers of being a police officer and that's nothing to take lightly. Oh, it is so cool to see him Beautiful. as a, a younger guy yes. and then all of a sudden he's doing what he dreamed of doing. Absolutely. A little look behind the curtain. Our Madeline Hagan, our anchor for the evening show, she edited that uh, story. And I love at the end, she had, uh, a, we call it a soundbite, uh, him speaking today with him speaking back then mm -hmm. and then back to him speaking today. That is excellent editing, <laughs> excellent storytelling. Way to go, Maddie. And thank Very you, cool Officer story. Castilleja. We uh, look forward to seeing you being police chief, I guess, yeah. here in uh, <laughs> probably a little over a decade. So good luck to you. Quick look outside, everyone. What a beautiful morning we have in store. But we have some shower activity right now. Walla Walla, Pendleton areas. A lot going on today. I want to get you and your family prepared coming up. And the city of Yakima is talking about budget cuts that could impact the fire department. Now officials are considering a possible workaround to keep funding firefighters. Plus, we're talking about big changes to rules in Portland make impacting the way the city responds to homeless encampments. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. From Camp KPU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning to you. Good Thursday morning, Jill. Yes. I enjoyed kind of the calm day yesterday because I knew <laughs> what was coming today. A little bit more scattered showers yes. throughout our areas. Now, our friends in Spokane, Idaho Panhandle, Western Montana, they're getting hit with quite a bit of thunder and lightning today. They even have some flood warnings for those areas. Now, our areas just on the periphery, just seeing a little bit of that. Let's take a look outside, though. It looks like a lovely morning so far on our Legends Casino Sky Cam, and uh, we're going to be seeing some sun and some clouds today, a little bit of everything. But let's take a look at our radar, and we're seeing some shower activity rumbling through Walla Walla right now, Pendleton area as well, maybe just on the periphery. Now, we saw some thunder and lightning, but once they went through the Blue Mountains, those came to an end, but you probably heard those this morning. We do expect to see scattered showers for many of our areas as we move into the next couple of hours. So it looks like it's almost through Walla Walla, still outside of Pendleton. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. So for our highs today, we're not as cool as expected for Yakima. We're still a little bit cooler than yesterday. We'll see that big cool down tomorrow for Ellensburg and Yakima tomorrow, but we're starting to see cooling down for the Tri-Cities, about 8 to 5 degrees off of yesterday. We are going to see some sun breaks with that cloud coverage today and with those scattered showers rumbling through. Walla Walla already has seen a little bit of shower activity and probably heard that thunder this morning. We're going to be in the mid-80s, so that cool down really in earnest for the Blue Mountain region. So more clouds today intermixed with a little bit of sunshine, quick storms very possible and cooling even more into tomorrow. We're going to see a much more settled weather pattern as we get into especially Sunday in our next work week. I'm going to get you and your family prepared for all of that. It's coming up in my forecast, but for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. Hot, dry weather means prime time for fires, and it's something that's on the minds of Yakima City officials trying to find a way to fund fire services. Cap KV's Emily Goodell reports the city has to make significant cuts, and part of that could include changing the way firefighters are paid. When the city's general fund runs low, the departments that rely on it, parks, police, and fire, get a smaller cut. It's not an easy process. We're trying to do what's, what's best at the same time as trying to balance our, our revenue resources, which are extremely limited at this point in time. With a projected shortfall for 2025 and 26, the fire department is looking at shutting down an entire station on the city's western edge. $1.7 million, essentially 12 firefighter positions. Fire officials say they need a steadier funding source and a way to get more revenue. One long-term option to create a regional fire authority with other city fire departments or fire districts that share a border with Yakima. What it does for a city is it changes its um, fundamental funding mechanisms to something that's different and more towards like a, a fire district, which they have their own tax base and their own funding mechanism. $1 per thousand property tax assessment the city would relinquish that amount and that would go to the fire authority. 
Fire officials say it's about the same cost to the city, but it's more sustainable because it's not based on how much is in the general fund or how the council divvies it up. Plus, state law allows regional fire authorities to get new revenue by asking property owners to pay a fire benefit charge. Based on the type of um, residence that you live in, the square footage, whether it has um, fire suppression capabilities like a sprinkler system you would get credits for, the higher the hazard, the more the property owner pays in the fire benefit charge. A feasibility study 10 years ago found it could work, but at the time, neighboring agencies weren't interested and they don't know if that's changed. Trying to plan for the, the future for a more sustainable funding me mechanism. If a fire district is you know, currently fairly self-sustainable and our, you know, their funding mechanism is adequate, they may, they may not be as interested in, you know, joining something bigger. But... Asking them now doesn't cost us anything. Um, and, and we are short on money. The council voted Tuesday night to have staff put out feelers for possible contractors to do that feasibility study and to ask nearby agencies if they'd be interested in joining in. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. The fire chief says for now they've identified some possible short-term solutions to help keep that fire station open. They'll be sharing those at the next Yakima City Council study session at 4 p.m. Tuesday at Washington Fruit Community Center. We continue to see a busy start to fire season in Washington this year. The Natchez Fire Department says this fire burned around 800 acres near Old Natchez Highway within a matter of hours Wednesday, and there's no reports of the fire destroying any buildings. It is contained now. Investigators will be working to figure out how the fire started. A man has been convicted of charges related to a deadly crash that happened more than two years ago. According to the Benton County Prosecutor's Office, a jury unanimously convicted Jesus Avalos Chavez of vehicular homicide while under the influence of alcohol. In March of 2021, Chavez was driving on State Route 14 near Patterson when he crossed into oncoming traffic, killing a 68-year-old Kennewick resident. Toxicology determined that Chavez had a blood alcohol level of 0.18, which is more than twice the legal limit. A sentencing hearing will take place in the near future. Oregon's largest city is officially moving forward with plans to restrict unauthorized camping on public property. The city of Portland just approved new rules banning all camping from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Because of that, any unauthorized camps will have to be dismantled during the day. The city is also banning gas stoves in camps and putting limits on where people can camp during those overnight hours. The mayor of Portland says they're still working on a plan to enforce the new rules. But he says starting next month, he expects that people could get a warning the first two times they're found violating the rules and then could face fines or even jail time. A travel alert for Tri-Cities drivers. State Route 225 and Hanford Route 10 closed this evening at 6 and remain closed through Monday morning at 4. State Route 240 will remain open in both directions. However, drivers will not have access to Hanford Route 10 toward the Hanford site or State Route 225 to Benton City. Crews are conducting roundabout construction. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Folks, we have a little bit of shower activity this morning, some sunshine and some clouds, a little of everything. Folks, I want to get you ready for your Thursday. It's going to be quite the day and a pretty interesting weekend on the way as well. That's coming up in my first alert weather forecast. Stick with us. And still ahead, the end of pandemic era restrictions also means the end of some financial programs giving families a boost. This morning, we'll break down some of the local options as rent assistance programs are coming to a close. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Stan, where's Alice? She's supposed to stay with us. Oh, shoot, where could she? Hey everybody, I'm Alice. I'm new here. The new zipline ride looks so fun. You go back and forth. Awesome. And we've lost control of the Alice situation. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zipline ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. I mean, she's a natural spokesaur who isn't tempted to eat anyone. Uh, you know, because she's an herbivore. 
At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade, it's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy, it's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. Sound wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves. Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer only at your local Ford dealer. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. Wildfire smoke that engulfed the East Coast over the weekend is slowly moving west. Millions of Americans are dealing with hazy skies and severe air pollution. The smoke is coming from Canada, which is dealing with a devastating fire season this year. More than 8.7 million acres, an area larger than the state of Vermont, have burned. Our team here at the White House is in touch with the government of Canada. We have already deployed over 600 U.S. firefighters and personnel, as well as equipment like water bombers to help Canada battle the fires. In the meantime, sporting events in New York and Philadelphia have been canceled because of air quality concerns, low visibility, even de uh, delayed flights in and out of New York City area airports. The main suspect in the 2005 disappearance of U.S. student Natalie Holloway is expected to be handed over to U.S. officials today. Joran Vandersloot is wanted in the U.S. on one count each of extortion and wire fraud. He was indicted in 2010 on U.S. federal charges of extortion and wire fraud in connection with a plot to sell information about the whereabouts of Holloway's remains, which have never been found. An update this morning. Officials say Pope Francis is recovering after a successful surgery on his intestines yesterday. He's expected to stay in the hospital for several days, but doctors say there were no complications during the procedure. Many programs that helped Americans during COVID are now coming to an end. Coming up as rent assistance programs end, we're talking about options for those who may still need help. A light show this morning. Jason Valentine has a look at where those storms are hitting coming up in your first alert forecast. Live better and love your home with the unique items and expert interior design you'll find only at Spencer Carlson. Our team of designers has given life to new construction and new life to remodeling projects for 30 years. With our personal approach, Spencer Carlson makes it so easy for you to enjoy the shopping and design experience. You'll love the process as much as you'll love the results. Spencer Carlson, unsurpassed furniture and design for life. It's great to see you. Come on down. Welcome to Sea Galley. Dinner tonight or the Shipwreck Lounge. May I suggest our surf and turf special, Prime Rib and Crab. A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with your new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. I'm here to find my husband. Hey! You got me in love. The B 
I've just exploded. I'm not here for the foolishness. Come to the airport. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. There's no other word quite like home. Because it's more than any specific place. It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you able to laugh at yourself. It's a feeling, a belonging, and that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. Find your way home today in a new Chevrolet from McCurley Chevrolet. I love this dress. This dress I have worn 6,000 times. And you pretended like you used to watch this show. Next live, <laughs> Anthony Ramos from Transformers. Today at 9 on Cap K View. She's forecasted local weather for three years, and now she's part of the Cap Cave View First Alert weather team. Join me each evening at 5, 6, and 6.30 on Cap Cave View Local News. Stacy Lee, Cap Cave View First Alert weather. Watch weeknights. E.T. in Nashville. Our week of country exclusives rolls on with Jelly Roll. Look at your boy, babe. I'm on TV. And CMA Fest co-host Lainey Wilson. Next, E.T. Tonight at 7 on Cap Cave View. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Getting close to that weekend. Beautiful shot out of our Legends Casino Skycam. And folks, we're going to see a little bit more cloud coverage today. Still some sun breaks, just like yesterday, but quite a bit of cloud coverage surrounding our areas. And also, we have Walla Walla Pendleton seeing just a little bit of shower activity going through Walla Walla proper. Uh, for Pendleton, it's still not yet reached Pendleton yet, kind of being stuck in the mountains there. We did see some thunder and lightning. You may have heard that this morning or seen it, but once it went through the Blue Mountain region, it started to die down. Though we could see some scattered showers throughout many of our areas, but still very quick and light like we just saw in Walla Walla. So we are on the periphery of quite the storm coming through into the northwest, but it's really affecting Spokane, the Idaho Panhandle, and the western part of Montana. So today our storm chances really pretty much relegated for the blues and even just outside the Tri-Cities. We could see some scattered showers and lightning as possible for a Friday, for tomorrow. Pretty much all of our areas will be included in this map. I also wanted to show you a little bit of a macro view. Look at how much flood warnings we have surrounding our areas. This is where that storm is going to be kind of zeroing in on. Our areas, not so much. Let's show you what I mean. Thursday, this is this morning, we are seeing a little shower activity possibly forming for all of our areas. Very quick, but it could be in the form of some thunder and lightning as well. So I'm going to step back a bit. Look at the conglomeration that is heading for Spokane. That is why they're seeing those flood warnings and the panhandle of Idaho. That will be moving through tonight. And then we'll be seeing, again, scattered showers as we get into our Friday. And we're going to see bits and bobs of showers into our evening and possibly into Saturday morning and even into the early afternoon. But we'll see things settle down by the time we get to Sunday. And again, folks, like for Saturday, for tomorrow, we're still going to see some sun breaks intermixed in there. So just a little of everything. So our current temperatures, we're in the 60s for most of our areas, upper to lower. A little cooler for Ellensburg, 57. Our hot spot is Hermiston at 70 degrees. And uh, winds, we're seeing a little bit of winds in the lovely Toppenish area. Mid-teens, 11 mile per hour in Ellensburg, 13 in Walla Walla. We're going to see a little bit of winds today. Today, 10 to maybe 15 mile per hour at times, but mostly 10 mile per hour to light. So our highs today, a little cooler, not too much though for Yakima and Toppenish, 89 for Ellensburg, a little bit more cooler, 10 to 5 degree cooler in the mid-Columbia, lower 90s, upper 80s. For the Blue Mountain region, we're right in those middle 80s, much cooler for uh, the Yakima, uh, excuse me, for the Blue Mountain region, about 10 degrees off of yesterday. So our seven day forecast, Yakima Valley and uh, Ellensburg will see that big cool down coming into tomorrow. So some quick showers possible today, 
and best chance will be AM showers tomorrow. And again, we're going to see possibly a little bit of shower activity for your morning on Saturday, but then things settle down as we get to Sunday as we warm back up. And again, folks, we're above our average for the entire week ahead, even on Friday. So still we're uh, seeing a warm June continue for the Tri Cities area. 90 today, 85 tomorrow, 87 on Saturday, and then Things settle down as we warm up on Sunday into our next work week. So folks, for the next couple of days, if not into Saturday morning, we could see a little bit of shower activity at times. Other areas near us, Spokane, Panhandle of Idaho, are getting hit very hard today and into tomorrow morning. We're going to see that big cool down for many of our areas either today or tomorrow. Just get ready for things to be settling down as we head into our weekend. But get ready for an interesting Thursday ahead. Cloud coverage, a little bit of sun, and possibly a little bit of showers or thunder showers. Benton and Franklin counties are no longer accepting applications for the rental assistance program implemented during the pandemic as COVID relief funding. CAPKV's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio to talk about why that program is going away later this month. Riley, are officials saying there is no longer a need for rental assistance in our area? Good morning, Jill. No, in fact, officials say it's actually the opposite. The vacancy rate in the Tri-Cities is critically low, meaning there aren't enough places for people to live in the Tri-Cities, especially for affordable prices. Kyle Sullivan, Department of Human Services Manager with Benton County, says there is definitely a need for rental assistance assistance even as the emergency funding comes to an end. He says he thought there would be a downward trend eventually, but they never saw it. We had to stop accepting applications because we were still getting so many and, and people that were needing 12 months up to the 18 months of assistance. Um, and, and so I, I'd always thought we'd see that slow down, uh, but we didn't. And so again, it, it makes me a little bit nervous come, come the end of the month when there, none of this funding is going to be available any longer. I, I think the need will still be there. The county has stopped taking applications so it can keep up with the submissions they're already working on until the expiration of the contract on June 30th. Benton County says it has affordable housing plans and housing resources, but it's not nearly as much as what was provided with the emergency rental assistance. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, we'll talk about those alternatives. Live in studio with Good Morning Northwest, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Thank you, Riley. A shortage of life-saving cancer drugs is forcing oncologists and pharmacists to scramble for alternatives. That's according to a new survey by the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. The survey found that more than 70 percent of cancer centers across the country have reported experiencing a shortage of chemotherapy drugs, often used in combination. Friday, the Food and Drug Administration said it would work with a Chinese drug maker to boost the U.S. supply. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, more than five years after the deadly mass shooting at a Florida high school, a law enforcement officer who was there is on trial. Hey, check out the new Oreo Brookie Blizzard at DQ. Oreo pieces, brownie and cookie. This treat is doing the most, which makes it the perfect treat for when you're doing, well, the least. Oh, this is nice. Oh, come on! Why never? We were enjoying a moment with the Oreo Brookie Blizzard. Okay, okay, this is more like it. Enjoy your Oreo Brookie Blizzard moment today. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade, it's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy, it's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. Hi, I'm Dr. Ana Garcia, pediatrician with Astria Health. The best time to establish care with a pediatrician is now. Kids don't come with instructions. Pediatricians, we're a great resource for helping keep your kids healthy and safe. I'm accepting new patients every day, and I would love to be able to be part of your life. Go online to www.astria.health. Astria Health, always here. As summer approaches, it's time to start planning your family's next adventure. 
Our RVs are the perfect way to experience the great outdoors and make memories with your loved ones. With spacious interiors and modern amenities, your family will be comfortable and happy no matter where your journey takes you. Make this summer unforgettable with Broadmoor RV. Your adventure awaits. Visit us today and start planning your family's next great escape. Broadmoor RV. We make camping fun. So, Richards and family, the neighbors are very curious about your new family member. Oh, Robe Elizabeth? Hello. We built her when our daughter moved out so we could keep our family plan and save money. With US Cellular, you don't need a fourth line to get the best deal. It's just $29.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. Oh. I guess we don't need a fourth line anymore. This is awkward. Now at U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line. Plus, every plan is price protected. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam comes to Richland July 8th and 9th at John Dam Plaza. Making headlines across America this morning, a former sheriff's deputy accused of not taking action during the deadly mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida, five years ago, is now on trial. ABC's Derek Dennis has a closer look at the case. The deaths of 14 students and three staff members blamed in part on former sheriff's deputy and school resource officer Scott Peterson, who's now on trial, accused of taking cover instead of taking action to stop the shooter. The prosecutor in his opening statement characterized Peterson as a coward for waiting outside while the shooter took lives. Active shooter situation, you go toward the gunshots. They're trained to go toward those shots to find that shooter because every shot could be a death. The defendant will never leave that alcove. Defense attorney Mark Iglar says Peterson, a 32-year veteran officer, was the first to call in a code red but did not know where the shots were coming from, which building, or even which direction. There was a pronounced echo and reverberation that the witnesses were talking about that left them hearing the same shots and wondering, where is that coming from? Survivors testifying about the horror. Shots were flying through the the glass window of the door that ran down to down to the handle of the door, and they were flying all over our classroom. I was just waiting for the police. It was the longest 20 minutes of my entire life. Derek Dennis, ABC News. Peterson is facing charges including child neglect and negligence. The trial is expected to continue through August. The man accused of killing four University of Idaho college students in an off-campus home last fall is fighting to keep cameras out of the courtroom at his upcoming trial after news agencies filed a request to allow cameras in court. Koberger's attorney says too many people are forming unfounded opinions based on video of him. This comes as a judge is once again set to consider whether to lift the gag order, preventing almost everyone connected with the case from talking about it publicly. That hearing is expected tomorrow. New this morning, we are tracking a mass stabbing attack in France early this morning. That's coming up in about five minutes. STCU and Cap Caveview Local News honor local volunteers by sharing their stories and donating $1,000 to their favorite charities. Woo! To nominate someone who's making a difference in Benton and Franklin counties, click on contests at yaktrynews.com. Plan your next getaway with a new escape from Corwin Ford. Choose from options to fit your style, including turbocharged EcoBoost, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid models. Right now, enjoy 0% financing for 36 months, plus no charge maintenance for three years on all 2023 Ford Escape models. That's three years of tire rotations, engine oil, filter changes, and more. Plan your summer escape in a new Ford. Corwin Ford, family driven for over 100 years. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North 1st Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, $3.95 and you are there. For the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week, five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermiston, off $3.95. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. 
When you need something special to celebrate with, you need to visit Mealy at Cupcakes Bakery and Deli in Kennewick. From an assortment of delightful baked goods to the comfort foods of her southern style deli, Mealy will put a smile on your face. Check out Cupcakes Bakery and Deli today. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Pasco Parks and Rec invites you to join in and get involved. They offer a variety of summer classes and programs for all ages, preschool to adult and everyone in between. There's a class, event, or program this summer just for you. Register, reserve, or inquire today. Join all the special events Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer all summer long. Learn more at pascoparksandrec.com. Get fit, have fun, do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. At Good Shepherd, it is not just a job. It is our mission, a mission to improve the health of our community, to give you our hearts, our minds, our compassion, the best technology available, and the greatest medicine of all, kindness. Thank you for trusting us with your care. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. President Biden has issued his fifth veto since taking office. We're talking about the bill he decided to block. And it's the U.S. Postal Service's Dog Bite Awareness Week. This morning, we're talking about some concerning numbers from PASCO. And we got a bit cooler temperatures today with possible quick showers. Already seeing them in the blues this morning and more cloud coverage. I'll get you prepared in my first alert weather forecast. From Cap KV Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Good Thursday to you. And do, do you know which Norse god Thursday is named after? You told me this a little while ago. Yes. Yeah. Thor. <laughs> and it makes sense. We saw a little bit of lightning going on. He's oh, yeah, the god. Right. He's the god of lightning. Uh, and we saw a little bit in the Blue Mountain region. So let's get to it, folks. And we're going to see possibly a little bit more of Thor's work as we move along in our day. Let's take a look outside <laughs> at our lovely uh, sky cam at the, uh, there we go, at the Giza Stadium in Pasco. And folks, we have more cloud coverage expected today. We'll see some sun breaks, but still, and we're going to be cooler today. Not as much in the Yakima Valley, but we will be in the mid-Columbia and in the Blues. So we do have a little bit of shower activity coming through. We saw quite a bit of lightning before it got into the Blue Mountain region, and then, or the Blue Mountains themselves, and just plain old shower activity for Walla Walla in, in the outskirts of Pendleton. So let's take a closer look at these areas. So just rumbling through Walla Walla, looks like you're uh, pretty much dry by this moment, and Pendleton just getting very close there. So we do expect to see, again, more scattered showers throughout our areas as we move along in today and tomorrow. So staying warm in Yakima, still a little cooler than yesterday, a little bit more cloud coverage. We're going to be in those lower 90s. Lower 90s for the Tri-Cities is we're about 5 to 8 degrees off of yesterday, depending on where you're at. A little bit of sun breaks, but again, more cloud coverage. Already have seen some shower activity in Walla Walla, and we do expect to see more cloud coverage there as well. Much cooler, mid-80s. So as we move into tomorrow and into our weekend, we have more cloud coverage to talk about. Quick storms are definitely possible today and especially tomorrow. It's going to fan out a little bit to more of Yakima and Ellensburg and cooling into tomorrow and Saturday. Folks, we have a lot to cover to get you ready for your weekend. That's coming up in my forecast, but for right now, let's send it back to Jill. We're tracking developing news from southeastern France this morning. Six people, including four young children, have been injured in a stabbing attack at a park. At least two children and one adult have life-threatening injuries. Police say the alleged attacker is in custody. It's not clear what the motive might have been. New this morning, six people from three states, including Washington, are now facing federal charges accused of stealing COVID-19 relief money that was supposed to help people keep up with their rent during the pandemic. 
Federal prosecutors say the six people filed fake applications for almost $7 million of government aid and got about half of what they asked for. That's according to the Seattle Times. Prosecutors say the suspects spent the money on travel, cars, clothes and plastic surgery. If convicted, they could face decades behind bars. Federal student loan repayments have been on hold since the early days of the pandemic, but that is all scheduled to end this summer. And a proposal from the White House to forgive thousands of dollars in loans per borrower is still in limbo. Lawmakers in Congress tried to block the plan, but President Biden vetoed their efforts. But John Lawrence reports the bill still faces legal challenges. A congressional effort to squash President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness program dies a quick death. He's continued to pursue new government spending from his nearly trillion dollar student loan giveaway to a budget that in a few short years would have us spending $10 trillion annually. The bill offers to forgive up to $20,000 in debt for students who went to college on Pell Grants and $10,000 for those without if specific requirements are met. Nearly 90% of those relief dollars go to people making less than $75,000 a year. Both chambers of Congress passed a bill that would have halted Biden's program, but the president vetoed the legislation Wednesday, saying he, quote, won't back down from helping hardworking folks. Some of the same members of Congress who supported this bill voted to huge tax cuts for corporations and the wealthy as well. But when it comes to hardworking Americans trying to get ahead, dealing with the student debt relief, that's where they drew the line. Critics say the proposal is financially unfair. What President Biden is doing is transferring those student loans and those student loan debt onto the backs of hardworking Iowans and, and others. The legality of the loan forgiveness program is in the hands of the Supreme Court. The justices are expected to issue a decision on it this summer. I'm John Lawrence reporting. While many high school students hear about the benefits of a college education, not all of them get a good idea about the cost. State lawmakers in North Carolina are considering a proposal that would make it mandatory for schools to teach high school sophomores about all their options, from vocational programs to college, how much each option costs, and how much workers in each field can expect to earn. It's still early days for this idea, and some North Carolina lawmakers say they're concerned that seeing a big college tuition number could scare away students who qualify for grants and other assistance. It is Dog Bite Awareness Week, and this morning some concerning new numbers from the Postal Service. Officials say mail carriers in Pasco reported 10 dog attacks last year. To put that into perspective, Seattle and Spokane had 13 reported attacks each. The Postal Service says even good dogs have bad days, and that's why mail carriers are taught to be cautious around every dog, even the sweet ones. Dog out in it. If you're leaving a door open, we are not supposed to enter the yard whether or not you have a dog because we, we don't always know it. Mail carriers say if your dog is outside, it needs to be on a secure leash or behind a fence. If your dog bites a mail carrier or becomes a problem, the Postal Service could stop delivering mail and you could face fines in some situations. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Folks, we've made it to Thursday. We have a little of everything. Already seen some shower activity go through the Blue Mountain region this morning. We have sun, clouds, and more of that rain. Maybe even thunder showers on the way. More in our outer areas, say Spokane. I'll get you ready for your Thursday. My for forecast coming right up. And still ahead this morning, Benton and Franklin counties are no longer taking applications for COVID-era rent assistance. We're talking about other options for people who still need help. Portion of Cap KVU sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. From Cap KVU, this is Medically Speaking. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we want to remind you, your oral health is important. We know that life can get busy. Don't let your family's oral health take a back seat. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we offer extended hours. That's right, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. We want you to smile healthy and live happy. No insurance? No problem. 
At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, our membership plan starts at just $79 and costs only $35 a month. That's two cleanings, x-rays, and much more for just $35 a month. Learn more at WRFDC.com or PDPNW.com. Find us at one of our two locations, West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco. Stunning smiles for the whole family. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% zero APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade, it's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy, it's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. She's forecasted local weather for three years, and now she's part of the Cap Give You First Alert weather team. Join me each evening at 5, 6, and 6.30 on Cap Cave View Local News. Stacy Lee, Cap Give You First Alert weather. Watch weeknights. I love this dress. This dress I have worn 6,000 times. And you pretended like you used to watch this show. Let's live. <laughs> Anthony Ramos from Transformers. Today at 9 on Cap Cave View. Trending this morning, soccer superstar Lionel Messi says he's moving to Miami. And now, Jason, this is a big deal for MLS fans. It is a huge deal. Now, Messi, he is from Argentina, and he's been player of the world seven times. And, of course, most recently won the Golden Ball at last year's World Cup, which Argentina won. Now he says he's decided to move to Major League Soccer Club Inter Miami. MLS officials say the deal isn't final yet but they say they're looking forward to welcoming one of the greatest soccer players of all time. And some say he could be the best of all time. Now what this means for the MLS is every time Inter Miami goes to say Seattle to play the Sounders, ticket sales are gonna go up because people want to see Lionel Messi, one of the greatest players ever. Also, David Beckham, he's one of the owners of Inter Miami. Yeah. And it's been rumored for some time that Lionel would join his friend David Beckham in Miami, so oh, it has okay. come true. So something to look forward to for soccer fans. Yeah, for sure. Well, Cap KV Riley Fitzgerald uh, joins us live in studio next, talking about the end of one rent assistance program and what you can do if you need help making ends meet. And folks, I have your first alert weather forecast coming up. A little of everything today. Let me get you ready for it. If you're doing some traveling, quite a bit of wetness just to the east and northeast of us. That's coming up next. There are some people who have been tricked and lied to by someone they trust, someone they may even love, someone who sells them for sex. That's sex trafficking, and it's a crime. If you're a victim of sex trafficking, know that there is hope. There is a way out, a way to a better life. There are people who can help. You just need to take the first step. The Support Advocacy and Resource Center, SARC, is here to help. Visit us at supportadvocacyresourcecenter.org. Services are free and confidential. Where's the most mouth-watering pizza and best salad bar in town? Well, Hubby's Pizza, of course. Order Hubby's Pizza tonight and get a large 16-inch pepperoni pizza for just $15.99. Mouth-watering yumminess. The perfect fresh dough and toppings for a quick and easy dinner. Dine in or carry out. Come acquire the Hubby's Habit, your hometown favorite for nearly 45 years.
Welcome to the Spectrum Lab, where we're bringing you the best in connectivity with Spectrum One. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest internet speeds in the nation, so you always have the speed you need for all your connected devices. This guy gets it. Advanced Wi-Fi comes with state-of-the-art security and privacy, which automatically blocks online threats on all your devices. If it's connected, it's protected. Plus, Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data on a reliable nationwide network. At Spectrum, we're always working to bring you better ways to connect. You think they noticed the orb? I think so. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or Spectrum Store today. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. Save big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Now, Cap KV First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, getting close to that weekend. Hope you're having a good morning so far. So we're going to see some clear skies. We're also going to be seeing some cloud coverage today, and we are also seeing a little bit of shower activity rumbling. It's already rumbled through Walla Walla, and we're seeing it getting very close to Pendleton, but looks like it may have diverted just a little bit to the south. So we do expect to see off and on showers for many of our areas today, and even more so as we get to our Friday tomorrow. So we are at the tail end of this shower system coming in from the south low pressure system just pumping it in but the real spot that's going to get hit hard spokane the panhandle for idaho and western montana so our areas storm chances we are pretty much blue mountain region tri-cities just on the periphery there so is pendleton but we do expect to see scattered showers lightning possible through tomorrow and we're going to see these storm chances move over into ellensburg toppenish and all of our areas for tomorrow. We also have a flood warning. Look at this folks throughout our outside regions and that is because they're going to be hit very hard by this system coming through or we're just getting kind of the extra on the side. I'll show you what I mean. Future cast. We're seeing just some scattered showers coming through this morning. Again, you can see very quick showers, maybe even a little thunder and lightning involved. That will be moving on as we get to the afternoon, but look at this mass coming into the Panhandle and towards Spokane tonight. That will be moving on pretty quickly. And again, folks, scattered showers into our Friday, and we're gonna continue to see bits and bobs coming through into Saturday morning and even into Saturday afternoon. But we're gonna see more sunshine than not during this time or more dry conditions. But still, if we see those, that precipitation come through, it should be very quick. So our temperatures this morning, we are very warm, mid to lower to upper 60s, even a couple 70s. Hermiston and Walla Walla, a little cooler in Ellensburg, but a warm morning this morning. We are gonna see a bit of cooling though today starting and then that big cool down coming tomorrow. Wind speeds, but where we expect 15 to 10 mile per hour for Ellensburg, Toppenish, even Walla Walla. Uh, rest of our area should be 10 mile per hour to light, maybe picking up to 10 to 20 mile per hour for Friday, Saturday. So our highs today, lower 90s, a little off of yesterday for Yakima, Toppenish, 89 for Ellensburg. Over in the mid-Columbia, lower 90s, upper 80s. And in the Blue Mountain region, much cooler, about 10 or so degrees, mid 
80s. So seven day forecast that big cool down coming into uh, tomorrow for Yakima down uh, pretty much about 15 degrees from what we saw yesterday. Then we'll start to slowly warm up and things will settle down Saturday afternoon into Sunday and into our next work week. A much more calm week is ahead. Overnight lows sticking in those 60s. So we got to get through the next two days even into Saturday morning until we see things settle down. Tri-Cities area down to 85 Friday, 87 Saturday. So interestingly enough, again, look how settled it is next week. We are still above our average for this time of year, Friday and Saturday, even though we are cooling down. So folks, we're getting a little relief from the heat today. More of that relief tomorrow. Keep an eye out for a scattered shower or two. We'll be quick if it comes to your area. And again, highs in the lower 90s, upper 80s tomorrow, mid to lower 80s. So those cooler temperatures are going to be here settling down next week. Benton and Franklin counties are no longer accepting applications for the rental assistance program implemented during the pandemic as COVID relief funding. CAPKV's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio to talk about why that program is going away later this month. Riley, for people who still need rental assistance, are they now out of luck? Well, good morning, Jill. For the big bucks that were shelled out during the months of COVID relief, yes, people are now out of luck. The applications closed to apply for emergency rental assistance, but that doesn't mean someone is completely helpless. According to Kyle Sullivan, Department of Human Services Manager with Benton County, the county does provide some rental assistance, but it is stricter and harder to get. If you still need assistance, he recommends to start by talking to landlords. My recommendation would be that they, they communicate with their landlords. Uh, they need to be talking about uh, payback agreement, payment agreements. Um, we do, my office um, has always had uh, uh, assistance available, N nothing compared to the number, the dollar amount that we had received during COVID. Sullivan estimated the organization had received around the mid $40 million range and helped several thousand people in the community with rental assistance since mid-2020. Find the link to the county's resources on our website, yaktrynews.com. The rental assistance program officially ends June 30th. Live in studio with Good Morning Northwest, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. STCU and CAPKV Local News are looking for community volunteers in Benton and Franklin counties who go that extra step helping us all. If you know someone like this, please nominate them by clicking on contests at yaktrynews.com. Every six weeks or so, we choose a volunteer to profile on CAPKV Local News, and STCU awards his or her organization a $1,000 donation. Thank you for nominating someone, and a big thank you to all volunteers who make our communities stronger. I'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, an ABC News exclusive. Looking back, it kind of like, I mean, left a horrible moments for us. Trainee Alaparthi and his family traveling from their Illinois home to Florida just over a year ago. But their fun in the sun parasailing trip turning to tragedy when the parasail caught an extreme wind gust pulled the boat off course. The captain cutting the parasail loose, sending Srini's wife, son and nephew spiraling out of control, killing his wife. Now for the first time, he's telling his story to GMA. Yeah, I didn't exactly see when he did, when, when he cut the rope. It was kind of like I mean, terrifying and horrible moments. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll share his emotional interview and what he wants all families to know before they head off on their summer vacation. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. Choosing a treatment for your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, can be overwhelming. So ask your doctor about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start. It's the number one prescribed branded chronic migraine treatment. So far, more than 5 million Botox treatments have been given to over 850,000 chronic migraine patients. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away, as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. 
In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they'd talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in a moment. But first, we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. The city of Yakima is looking into doing a feasibility study to determine whether forming a regional fire authority would help better fund city fire services in the long run. Instead of paying for firefighters out of the general fund, which can vary greatly from year to year, the city would pay the regional fire authority a dollar per thousand dollars of assessed property value. The fire chief says it would be the same services, about the same cost to the city, and require no additional property taxes. But it would mean a steady source of funding and the ability to get additional revenue by adding on a fire benefit charge for property owners. Based on the type of um, residence that you live in, the square footage, whether it has um, fire suppression capabilities like a sprinkler system you would get credits for, the higher the hazard, the more the property owner pays in the fire benefit charge. The chief says it's not going to help them short term with proposed budget cuts, including losing 12 firefighters and shutting down a station. We continue to see a busy start to fire season in Washington this year. The Natchez Fire Department says this fire burned around 800 acres near Old Natchez Highway within a matter of hours Wednesday. There's no reports of the fire destroying any buildings and it's now contained. Investigators will be working to figure out how the fire started. A man has been convicted of charges related to a deadly crash that happened more than two years ago. According to the Benton County Prosecutor's Office, a jury unanimously convicted Jesus Avalos Chavez of vehicular homicide while under the influence of alcohol. In March of 2021, Chavez was driving on State Route 14 near Patterson when he crossed into oncoming traffic, killing a 68-year-old Kennewick resident. Toxicology determined that Chavez had a blood alcohol level of 0.18 which is more than twice the legal limit. A sentencing hearing will take place in the near future. A travel alert for Tri-Cities drivers. State Route 225 and Hanford Route 10 closed this evening at 6 and remain closed through Monday morning at 4. State Route 240 will remain open in both directions. However, drivers will not have access to Hanford Route 10 toward the Hanford site or State Route 225 to Benton City. Crews are conducting roundabout construction. Graduation is today for students at Yakima Online and Stanton Academy. And this week, graduating high school seniors paraded through the same elementary and middle schools they attended growing up. The annual grad parade provides a trip down memory lane designed to celebrate the seniors' accomplishments ahead of graduation. It's also a way to get younger students excited about getting to the next grade up and show them people who started at their school and made it all the way through. It also gives them a glimpse of what their future has to offer. You get to put on a cap and gown. Your former teachers and younger learners get to cheer for you and celebrate you as you've worked so hard to graduate for the last 13 years of schooling. AC Davis High School and Eisenhower High School graduations are coming up next week. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful morning so far. Folks, a little bit more cloud coverage today. We've even, even seen some shower activity roll through the Walla Walla area. It is now past and we have it uh, just around the Pendleton area. But still, we expect to see some scattered showers for many of our areas this morning. So do get ready for that. Now we are going to be starting to cool down today and we're going to continue into tomorrow and uh, Saturday. And then we will be warming up as we move along into the next couple of days. So do get ready for that as we are expecting to see some well, interesting things happening in the next couple of days. Speaking of which, let's talk about those interesting things. We are seeing a little bit of shower activity coming in, at least a possibility for many of our areas. Could even include a little bit of thunder and lightning, so do be aware of that. But our friends in Spokane are getting hit hard by this system right here, going through the panhandle of Idaho up into Spokane. They actually have some flood concerns for areas around us, not our areas. As we enter Friday, tomorrow, more possibilities of just bits and bobs of scattered showers even into Saturday morning. But then as we get to Saturday evening, things will be settling down and we'll have a much more settled weekend Sunday into our next work week. 
So let's take a look at our highs today. We are cooler than yesterday. Lower 90s for Yakima, top finish 89 for Ellensburg. Over in the Mid-Columbia, lower 90s, upper 80s. In the Blue Mountain region, we have the biggest drop, about 10 or so degrees for Walla Walla and Pendleton down about 10 degrees. So folks, get ready for a little bit of shower activity, a little bit of sun, a little bit of clouds coming for your Thursday. Jill. Thank you for joining us on Good Morning Northwest. Cap KV Local News is back tonight at 5.